Wormhole, a theoretical gateway to travel distant places in the universe almost instantly. It can even be used to travel to different multiverses, of course in theory. But is it possible or safe for humans to even go nearby? We are speculating about can you travel through a wormhole in today's video of Discover Zen. A wormhole, or Einstein-Rosen bridge, is a speculative structure linking disparate points in space-time and is based on a special solution of the Einstein field equations. Wormholes are consistent with the general theory of relativity by Einstein, but they are yet to be discovered practically. Many scientists postulate that wormholes are merely projections of a fourth spatial dimension, analogous to how a two-dimensional being could experience only part of a three-dimensional object. A wormhole could connect extremely long distances such as a billion light years or more, short distances such as a few meters, different universes, or different points in time. Wormholes are consistent with the general theory of relativity by Einstein, but whether wormholes actually exist remains a mystery. Now let's look at the types of wormholes. The first type of wormhole solution discovered was the Schwarzschild wormhole, but it was found that it would collapse too quickly for anything to cross from one end to the other. These wormholes are non-traversable. It would be possible to keep it open only if exotic matter with negative energy density could be used to stabilize them. Exotic matter is also a theoretical matter which has negative mass and can be used in an anti-gravity scenario if it exists. The second type can be called traversable wormholes. These wormholes would allow anything to cross from one end to another. The Casimir effect shows that quantum field theory allows the energy density in certain regions of space to be negative relative to the ordinary matter vacuum energy and shown theoretically that quantum field theory allows states where energy can be arbitrarily negative at a given point. Many physicists, such as Stephen Hawking, Kip Thorne, among others, argued that such effects might make it possible to stabilize a traversable wormhole. The only known natural process that is theoretically predicted to form a wormhole in the context of general relativity and quantum mechanics was put forth by Leonard Susskind. The quantum foam hypothesis is sometimes used to suggest that tiny wormholes might appear and disappear spontaneously at the Planck scale. Okay, so what would happen if you take a trip to one of these wormholes? Well, it depends. Wormholes, even if they exist, are too tiny for any human to travel from one side to another. We are talking about sizes around 10 to the negative 33 centimeters. And even if you find a big one, it will be highly unstable and collapse very quickly. But hey, it's not the end of the world as we can use exotic matter to negate the effects of its gravitational field. There are some theories that even predict that black holes can act as a portal to a different universe, creating a wormhole of some sort. The theory suggests that it takes all the energy and mass from our universe and forms a portal from its center, which connects to a different universe where time runs backwards and spits every matter out as a white hole. But for now, we can't really say anything about it, and everything in this speculation was theoretical. Maybe in the future, we will discover a wormhole in our universe. But let's think of something that we know about. What if we visit a black hole? Well, that sounds like a different topic to speculate and investigate on Discover Zen.